seen a turning point. And now we've heard about how central bankers are grappling to avoid a tipping point where high inflation becomes entrenched. The clock is clearly ticking, but for now, faith holds. And now to the final part of our, of our event. The Sintra Forum has brought together some of this generation's most prominent policymakers and academics. It has also sought to nurture young talent to address the answers to challenges future generations will face. We now would like to award the prize chosen by an expert panel and you for the best paper by some of the most promising young economists in the world. So, we've just seen the 10 finalists of this year's Young Economist Prize. Actually, they're all there. This time we can see them in real life because they're not on screen as they were last year and the year before. So, it's very, very nice to see you all and you're very welcome in this room. Yeah, let's... let's. So you came from all over the world to present uh, your research here in Sintra, and our colleagues from the research department were overwhelmed by the number of high-quality papers that they received. You are the top 10, but there were many others that were submitted that were of top quality as well. So all submissions were rated for both their academic quality and their policy relevance for Europe, and 10 of them, you, were selected to go through the final round of voting. It is an important moment for the forum, so I would like to thank you very, very much, all of you who have voted for the respective papers and for having spent a bit of time in front of their posters when they explained to you what their research was about. I would like to express real gratitude to all members of the panel who have evaluated your papers. They are Hélène Ray, professor at the London Business School, Ricardo Reis, Professor of the London School of Economics, and my ECB colleagues, Philip Hartman, Isabel Van Steenkist, and Yvan Jacquard. Thank you so much for having spent this time and having taken such an interest in the work that they did. Well done. So don't be shy. I know it's a, it's a moving moment, but you have to come on stage now. So it's really, really good to see you in person, and you have in front of you, uh, you know, the best and the brightest in central banking, in academia, in macroeconomics, and uh, they are intimidated because you will be much better than they are at the moment. <laughs> so I know it's not a very pleasant moment for nine of you, and it's a delightful moment for one of you, but I'm going to have to do it. But I took some consolation from the fact that I was told by a friend of mine and a couple of other colleagues that ju the just, just the fact that you were shortlisted and amongst the 10th actually gave you a chance to receive a few phone calls from people interested in hiring you. So in and of itself, that might be a bit of a price. But for this particular contest, uh, I'm delighted to announce the winner of this year's Young Economist Prize, who will be awarded a 10,000 euros prize, and this trophy, which is standing right there to my left. And the winner this year is Federico Cochen. Federico. <laughs> Thank you. 
So Federico, before I award you this, uh, I just want to mention that you are a PhD student at the New York University. Your paper was on finance over the life cycle of firms. I have to say that Federico explained to me his research and he gave me a great consolation this morning. You know what you feel like after some long hours and days. He explained to me that the older you are in the cycle, the more resilient you are. <laughs> Fantastic message early in the morning. So thank you, Federico, in addition to everything else in your paper, which is far more important than the consolation that you gave me this morning. But so your paper highlights the importance of ensuring that young firms, which are more likely to face financial constraints, have access to external finance. Using European data and emphasizing the differences between countries, your paper shows that in times of great structural transformation, ensuring a steady flow of financing renders the process of firm entry and exit more efficient. So my warmest congratulations to you. Here is the trophy. Well done. Thank you very much. I, I will hold uh, it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, President Lagarde. This is really uh, an honor and such a, a privilege for me. Uh, I also want to thank the members of the selection committee and all the members of the ECB which made this prize and this event possible. Uh, as well, I want to thank my, my fellow young economists. This has been really a privilege uh, for me to be interacting and learning from you these days. Uh, thank you very much. It's really such an honor. Thank you, President Lagarde. Thank you. And can we give a big round of applause to the other nine who have done a superb job? Terrific. You can just stay a little bit. It's nice to be up on stage. You have to get used to it. You'll do a lot of those things. So now it's the last moment. Um, we all want to sort of let our hair down, uh, enjoy a bit of uh, outdoor activity maybe, or just rest or keep looking at your emails and your messages, whichever you prefer. But it's time to wrap up, and I would like to really thank all of you for your participation, uh, being in the audience, being so attentive. And uh, I would like to address a particular thanks to the team of the ECB and those who have put in place this first after two years uh, physical organization of this meeting. They've done a great job. The food was decent, wasn't it? And everything else in between. So to those who have organized it, really, thank you very, very much. And you'll be pleased to know that we've decided that next year, again, it will be in physical format. Uh, and uh, we'll see after that how we measure the, uh, the cost benefit and the value added by uh, being together relative to increasing, obviously, our environmental footprint. But we'll, uh, we'll uh, certainly this year, yeah, Vitor, we have to do these things nowadays. We do. Uh, but next year, we'll be, we'll be together for the 10th. In the meantime, obviously, there is going to be a lot of work that will be done, a lot of research. We are obviously in a slightly different environment as the, uh, the chair and president of uh, central banks have tried to demonstrate, and as has been fantastically documented and discussed in the course of the very uh, great panel discussions that we had in the last couple of days, to all panelists, to all those who contributed their papers and their thought and shared their brain power with all of us, and those who led the panel exercise, which is not always easy, because it's tempting to actually get involved and speak up and s say what you have on your mind, when in fact you have to just give way to those who have done the work. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a wonderful dinner that is offered by the uh, National Central Bank of Portugal. We will see each other again, and we will see each other next year, if you are so willing. Thank you very much. Thank you.